We start the programme with some breaking news. Both the Reuters news agency as well as the AFP are quoting the IAEA to report that Iran has increased the amount of uranium it's enriching to near weapons-grade levels. They quote a report by the UN nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, saying enrichment up to 60 per cent has grown by more than 12 kilograms. Let's go straight to our correspondent, Dorsa Jabari, who's in Tehran. Dorsa, if this is indeed true, it is significant. Talk us through exactly what it means. Well, this means that the world's uh, nuclear watchdog, the uh, International Atomic Energy Agency, is not able to do its job and provide assurances to the international community that Iran's nuclear program is exclusively a civilian one and it's used for peaceful purposes. The IEA is going to have a Board of Governors meeting uh, on Monday, September 12th. They have one every three months. And during this Board of Governors meeting, there is a report that is put forth uh, every time by the agency about their ongoing activities and of course the Iran nuclear file is usually at the top of that report this time around as a result of a number of events that have unfolded between the agency's cooperation and Iranian officials the uh, agency is now saying in this report that has been seen by those two agencies news agencies that you mentioned that according to them they're no longer able to provide reassurances that this country's nuclear program is for a purely civilian purposes. They haven't been able to uh, get the access that they wanted. They also haven't received sufficient responses from Iranian officials about three specific undeclared sites where the agency has found traces of uranium activity that dates back to the years of uh, early years of 2000s. The Iranian officials, for their part, say they have sufficiently responded to those inquiries and that the uh, re-digging up of those uh, issues the agency is coming up with now about those three sites is as a result of political pressure from Israel and as a result of intelligence provided by Israel and uh, other countries that don't want to see Iran uh, in a position to be able to negotiate a proper return to that 2015 nuclear deal. Now, what is at stake here is that retrieval, revival of the 2015 nuclear deal, according to the agency's report that is due out um, later today to the board members. Uh, Iran now has a stockpile 19 times the limit that it was allowed under the 2015 nuclear deal, meaning Iran's high enriched uranium is uh, above the levels that they agreed to in 2015. Uh, under that agreement, Iran was allowed to store uh, 202, uh, 202 kilograms of 3.67 percent enriched uranium. Now, since the United States left the deal in 2018 and imposed a series of unilateral sanctions on Iran, the officials here um, step by step withdrew their commitments under that deal. And keeping a stockpile of highly enriched uranium was one of those steps they took, meaning all this time they are now adding to their enriched uranium stockpile, which is staying in the country. This is one of the main concerns of the agency and the international community. We understand that uh, the negotiations that have been ongoing for many months to try and get back to the deal was uh, these are some of the issues that are at the core of those uh, discussions taking place, which have yet to be resolved. Mm. As you say, that nuclear deal very much at stake. What do you think is going to happen now? Well, there's a, a lot of uh, skepticism uh, inside Iran at the moment about whether or not this deal is salvageable at this stage. There has been a lot of back and forth between the Iranian officials and the Americans about a draft proposal the European Union uh, officials have put forth to the two sides to try and bring them all back to full compliance under the deal. The IAEA plays a crucial part in this because they are the police in all of this um, to be able to monitor any kind of agreement that they would have uh, between Iran and the international community about its nuclear program. And since uh, 2019 that Iran started reducing its compliance, they haven't been able to do their job properly. And this report is one of the most damning that we've seen from the agency and certainly concerning. The IEA's um, general director, Rafael Grossi, has said that they won't be able to do their job properly in terms of monitoring Iran's nuclear activities if there is no return to this nuclear deal. And it seems that uh, 
right now that is exactly where things are at. And the Iranian officials are adamant that until the United States agrees to their terms and returns to their end of the bargain that they agreed to and more uh, after what they did in 2018, uh, the Iranians will not uh, agree to come back to the deal because they're afraid the Americans will do the same again in um, when there is another election in the United States and another administration in Washington. Dorsa Jabari there for us in Tehran. Thank you.